and stops in the key state of Ohio. After Trump worshiped in the pews of a historically black church in Detroit Saturday. I fully understand that the African American community has suffered from discrimination. Trump's campaign intensified the attacks on Clinton, who was dealing with the fallout from the release of those FBI investigation notes on her private emails. The negatives of Trump and Clinton giving rise to third-party candidate Gary Johnson, who is now close to 10 percent in some recent polls. What he can do is allow either candidate to lower their barrier that they need to win. So Donald Trump can underperform with minorities and still win the presidency. Hillary Clinton can underperform with white voters and still win the presidency. The Trump and Clinton campaigns will be busy in several battleground states today. A dozen events between the two candidates and their surrogates lined up just two months until Election Day. Kenneth Moten, ABC News, Washington. All right, well, here's something both sides can agree on. The weather today yes. is wonderful. Applaud, <laughs> applaud the weather no, today. No right. complaining about that. None whatsoever. But look, from the beginning to the end of the day, it's going to be super nice. Now, I know a lot of folks like to get out and do the grilling, the mm -hmm. barbecuing, that sort of thing. No, find yourself some place to go. Enjoy yourself. Okay. No need to do all the work because even the food trucks, what we were talking about yeah, today. Yeah, they're out and about. Yeah, yeah just, just hit a food truck. Just have fun today, and that's the main thing. Festival weather cannot be better. It's sunblock, of course, that you need to have on, even with the cooler temperatures today and make sure you carry the water along. That's something that water that we're going to have to get used to carrying over the next few days because it's back to a hot stretch for us, heat and humidity. But again, we've got the green light for everything today, including hitting the lakes, doing a little bit of golfing. Now, one location that's still not so good are the beaches. You saw the video earlier. We were talking about Ocean City areas from Miami all the way up toward New Jersey. Cape May, that wind gust close to 20 miles per hour during the afternoon. Might not sound like much, but look at this. It starts to pick up even more by early tomorrow morning. Morning. The reason for that, you can see the circulation. This is what's left of Hermi. It starts to wobble. It gets a little close to the coast before pushing back out. So the winds will pick up again, likely to be some more beach erosion uh, taking place. Now, surf, yeah, it's been rough there at Ocean City. Not too many people going in the water. I think for another 24, maybe 48 hours, we're still going to see the rough surf. The waves about six to eight feet. So rip currents still a big threat in Ocean City. Traveling today, though, sunshine here, sunshine up to the north and down to the south through the Carolinas. So all through this area, I-95 corridor, even I-81, especially and up toward 80, sunshine, delightful conditions, just again a little on the breezy side. We'll see those highs top out in the mid 80s. There's your three o'clock temperature, mid 80s across the area. Not too bad. That puts us right at average. And then tomorrow we're above average, but first a cool morning. Now this morning we had temperatures starting out in the 50s in this region. That's Walker's Mill area, Leesburg on over toward Martinsburg, Hagerstown, Hancock area in the mid 50s this morning. Tomorrow we're about five degrees higher, so about 60, 61 degrees. Metro area will be starting out at about College Park at 68, 67 Columbia, Maryland, Fairfax at 69 degrees. So safe track forecast for tomorrow. Not a bad early uh, uh, part for your commute. 85 degrees by lunchtime will hit 90, but that comes with lower humidity. Humidity. The bigger change for us is this uh, humidity that will start to rise. I think tomorrow 90 95 with higher humidity coming our way Wednesday. So that really is the next big change for us. A look at your Stormwatch 7 day forecast. I'll back out of the way for a second. You can see that high of 95 on Wednesday as mentioned. We're 96 Autry on Thursday, 97 our hottest day out of the work week on Friday. We get a chance for some showers and storms that will finally break the heat this upcoming weekend. And then we go right back down into the 80s. We'll talk about what's next for us, the 7 to 10 day trend in just a couple of minutes. Audrey. All right. Thanks, Veronica. Well, a lot of you out there probably enjoying the day off for this Labor Day, but some people the holiday is about cooking out with family and friends. And then, of course, there are the parades. Our John Gonzalez is in Greenbelt for one of the many parades throughout our region. Well, if you have to work on a day like this, this is definitely a good assignment. And among those laboring on this Labor Day, the folks who have put together this long-standing parade, Labor Day parade here in Greenbelt, Maryland, now in its sixth decade. That's right, folks, the first Labor Day parade here in Greenbelt, Maryland, being held back in 1956 during Greenbelt Days Festival that year. And of course, it is a celebration of the social and economic achievements of the American worker. And take a look, a lot of the American workers today have lined the streets here in downtown Greenbelt. Let's talk to some of them here. This young man here walking our way, 
How are you, sir? Enjoying the parade? Yes, yes. My son just walked through. That's um, awesome. Yeah, he's at Greenbelt Nursery School this year. He's starting the nursery school. That's awesome. And, and the theme, of course, is laboring. What do you do for a living? Well, I'm actually uh, a school administrator. I work at Brown Academy in, uh, in Alexandria, Virginia, but I live here in Greenbelt. How rewarding is that for you? It's great. I love working with kids, and uh, having my son in nursery school now is, is great, and working with kids is one of my favorite things. So. Thank you so much for talking to us, and thanks for your hard work, yeah, my you. friend. Uh, you know, it, it's a very festive and colorful parade. You can see people of all ages and among the groups involved in this parade, Greenbelt Elementary School and Eleanor Roosevelt High School just down the road. Elected officials also taking part in this parade in Prince George's County and really throughout the entire state of Maryland, including Ben Cardin and Steny Hoyer. So that's the scene from a very vibrant downtown Greenbelt. I'm John Gonzalez. Happy Labor Day, everybody. And to you, Johnny G. Coming up here on ABC 7 News at noon, why some of the biggest cheers at Nats Park will be for outgoing.